Hey, this is Dennis. It's uh, Friday. The uh, Rocky Solar guys, they just went off to lunch. And uh, I've been doing chores around here today. And then I looked over and I saw my shillelagh stick. And for about the last hour and a half, two hours, I've been working on it. I've been working, I initially showed y'all when I started on the shillelagh stick. And, well, I'd cut a tree out of the swamp. And uh, that was the bottom part of the tree. And then, um, I don't know if it's to stay up there or what. I'll lean it up here. And this was the upper part of the tree. And actually, even went up higher and I cut off and had me a little poker for my fireplace. So anyhow, I've been to, <clears throat> I got my grinder with 36 grit. I had taken and worked this all down through here. And actually, I'll show you. I tried a number of different things. Uh, a lot of different things to get it to that shape. I actually was looking on Amazon or YouTube and oh yeah let me show you this yeah Harbor Freight I actually bought this little set of chisels and tried using the chisels did that some and then I think it was Amazon I bought this draw knife. Let me see if I can get this pulled off here. Yeah, and it was relatively inexpensive. So I worked on, uh, you know, drawing down probably about halfway down the shillelagh stick up to the knob and uh, Use the combination of this draw knife, the chisel. Uh, use the grinder with 36 grit, 80 grit. And uh, it took off a lot of material quick. And then I finished it off with my orbital sander right here old black and decker orbital sanitor and then i did use uh, a couple of little, little uh, knives here whittling knives that actually there was a guy gave me these knives and i whittled around on it and did a combination of everything but i got it to the point that I'm getting ready to go ahead and varnish it and I just wanted to show y'all I'm going to use uh, marine coating spar varnish and it's a clear coat it's wood exterior all right and once that's all done I'll show you that I've still got a I'm going to sand this down really slick and uh, and then I'm gonna varnish it too. Alrighty. Well, that's it. I'll go ahead and let y'all go, and then with the next Bible study I have, I'll you know put this in, and then maybe tomorrow, if this is good and dry, I'll show you what this looks like. And I left it a little bit longer up here in case I want to shorten it. Alrighty, talk to y'all later. God bless you, bye-bye. Hey, this is Dennis, it's Tuesday. Uh, getting ready to do a Bible study in just a little bit, but wanted to give you a little update. I, I finished my 
walking stick you had saw on the prior videos when I was out there by my little John boat. I'd cut this tree out of the swamp. It was one of those swamp trees. And I don't know if you can see it, it was really long. And I cut it and actually had a little tip up here. I've been using that in the fireplace as a poker. But out of these two pieces, I've got the bark off, sanded it down. So now I've got a good little, you know, like a good little shepherd's walking stick. Yeah, or if I go camping or someplace, I've got a little walking stick to hold on to. And also, to me, it could be used as a weapon. I mean, this is some hard wood. And if you whack somebody, I mean, you could, at long distance, you could poke people, or if you had to, you could whack them. Even if you just hit them, you know, give them a good whack in the shin. Good Lord, let me see if I can tilt that down. I mean, you take this and you whack somebody really hard down in the shin. I don't think they're going to mess with you anymore. I think they're going to be down on the ground wallering around, squalling and crying. So anyhow, it's a good little walking stick. And uh, <clears throat> this other one, I wanted to be uh, like a one of those old timey shillelaghs. And I'll tilt this down so you get a better look. Uh, so it can be used as a, like a shillelagh walking stick. And I put two coats of varnish on that. And I whittled this part around. If you remember the other video, it came down and it got really big at the bottom. And it was really big through here. So between using the carving knives and the, the draw knife, now one thing, I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter at the bottom. Um, Cause I'm thinking I want this handle knob to be maybe about down in here. So maybe I might cut off, well, maybe even about that much, but we'll see. I'd rather, you know, we'll just slowly, we'll look at that, cut that off, finish it, varnishing it. And then like an old Irish shillelagh, Good Lord, this thing can be used as a weapon. Uh, you're out and you get in a bad situation. Good Lord. You, you whack somebody with that. I don't think you'll have to hit them but one time. And they're going to leave you alone. Alrighty, just wanted to show you my little Irish shillelagh stick all righty well god bless y'all talk to you later bye bye well hey god bless you how you doing um i just did the little video on the walking stick and the shillelagh but i want to get the word and post that up and just got through praying too that God the Father would send some rain my way, and I asked in the name of Jesus Christ, His Son, my King and Savior. But I love the Lord no matter what. But there's a lot of scattered showers coming by here. There was one little quick short shower. But I'd love to have like a at least 10 or 15 minute downpour would be a blessing. But I love the Lord no matter what. Like Paul said, I've learned to be happy whether I have little or much in all things be content. 
All righty, let's get back to work. We're in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 24. <clears throat> Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house on the rock. So, it's all letter red right here talking. Jesus is talking. If we hear the sayings of his words and do them. And see, that's the key there is there's a lot of people, they hear the word of God, but they ain't doing it. I mean, you got to do the word of God. So if you hear it and you do it, Jesus likens us unto a wise man we build our house on the rock and our house <clears throat> to me you need to get your feet on jesus christ that's the beginning right there get saved get your feet on <coughs> on the rock jesus christ there's a lot of yellow pollens been fa <coughs> falling <coughs> so excuse me i mean I was looking on my truck yesterday. I mean, it is covered in yellow pine pollen. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. So if you... You got to get your feet on the rock. There was one time in my life I actually had a vision. And it's true, it's a true story. I was in the army over in Hawaii. I was sitting down at a park in Waikiki. It was like off to the side, not far from um, Diamond Head. <coughs> and I was on this bench, sitting on a bench by myself in, the, in this beautiful forested park. And I had a vision. I'd only been saved. I would say no more than a month or two. And I was walking this close walk with the Lord. Then all of a sudden I just had this vision. And the vision was. There was this. I was up on the side of this mountain. And there was a. A big white rock. And I was standing on that rock, and I remember looking out, and I could see the ocean all out in front of me. <clears throat> and I put my arms out like this, and I was like in the shape of a cross, and I actually saw the cross come out and was around me, and I was standing on this white rock. And without really looking up, but I looked up and I saw this, the shape of a human being. It was on flames, like on fire, and it was falling from the sky and it jumped on me. And I remember like it jumped on my back and everything and had its hands on me and I threw it off. And I remember thinking, this is Satan attacking me, you know? And, uh, but I did it without moving. I never moved. I was like inside the cross, standing on this white rock. And so it's like Satan jumps on me and I throw him off. And he jumps back on me and I throw him off. But each time I'm throwing him off, but I'm not moving. Uh, so it was like Jesus, you know, I'm, I'm staying in the cross, on the rock, the word of God, Jesus Christ. And so Satan kept jumping on me, and I kept throwing him off. And he'd jump on me, throw him off, and finally left. It seemed like he jumped on me like seven, eight, nine times. But to me, that comes, uh, you know, thinking about reading the scripture here makes me think about that vision. The only time I ever had a vision like that. True story. Um, so it's... I agree with Jesus here. You know, so if Satan's attacking you, 
the rains descend, the floods come, the wind blows, and beat upon the house, and it fell not. It didn't fall, for it was founded on a rock, Jesus Christ. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. So if you hear the Lord and you read this scripture here and you don't do it, Jesus was the word made flesh. So if we read this and we don't do it, we don't obey it, the word of God, <clears throat> Jesus said, you're like a foolish man. And I should have went and hid that phone. It'll go off in a minute. We ain't going to answer it. Call from wireless caller. That's probably a uh, Satan, right? Call from wireless caller. Oh, we'll just hold on a minute. All right. So Jesus said, Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. So if you want a good foundation for your house, you need to get it on the rock. You don't need it on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. <clears throat> and I'm thinking it's talking about the house being us. You know, I was in the cross, standing on that rock. So this is my opinion. Our house, when it refers to a house, is talking about me and you who you are, your body. And when there's trials and tribulations come in the world and you take it like the year 2020 and they're carrying on now in 2021, it's crazy out there. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on and we're being propagandized and attacked and to me, this word and Jesus saying here, you need to get on the rock, him, Jesus Christ. You need to not only hear what he's saying, but do what he's saying. Get in the cross. And if you'll do that, you'll stand. But if you don't, you're going to be, a, you're going to fall. And Jesus said, great was the fall. Great was the fall. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Say so, amen. Praise God. I'm going to go ahead and get off here, and hopefully we'll come back tomorrow or later on today, and we'll do, get some more in the Word and get it posted up. God bless y'all. Have a good day. Bye-bye.